winter winds would normally clear the sidewalks of Wasika, bringing an air of loneliness. But today, a bundled community came to the curb. Gotta support Eric. To welcome one of their own. He's a hero, that's for sure. Officer Eric Madsen driving down State Street. More than nine months after he was shot and gravely injured while on duty. We've been watching on the news ever since he got hurt. Just glad to see he's finally going to get back home. This has been a long road to recovery for Officer Madsen. What they've gone through is unimaginable to most. you got to give credit to the ones that you can. To show more support for times like this and how we come together as a community. But for the last several months, Officer Madsen has been recovering apart from that community. He's a wonderful grandson. <laughs> And we're so glad we still have him. Even, according to his grandparents, apart from his family, including his wife and two young daughters. He had to fight this battle by himself because no one could go to Omaha to see him until about one month ago. Such is the cold reality of needing out-of-state care during a pandemic. He's done it by himself. He just has made a lot of strides. But strides on his own for Officer Madsen turned today into steps surrounded by community. Today he didn't have to do it alone. No, he's got a lot of support today. Marking a new milestone in his journey. One that may now feel just a little less lonely. It's a okay. tremendous day. He's waited a long time for this. In Wasika, Carla Holt, CARE 11 News. Officer Matson still has a long road to full recovery. A GoFundMe has been set up to help the family buy an accessible vehicle. If you would like to contribute, you can go to care11.com for more information.